Service Dogs of Distinction. Presented by Purina, your pet, our passion, and Nissan Titan. So we're out here today at Walmart on Pleasant Crossing in Rogers, and we're so thankful for the CW4029 to help us raise money and get some donations today. And one reason we need donations is because we have great dogs like Maggie who just came into our program. She's been with us two weeks. We have to continue training with her and then we're going to match her with a veteran who will need sponsorship for an entire year while he trains with the dog. Um, we've gotten some really great items today, some toys, some treats, some bowls, but we also need people to uh, try and support our program financially. The training that we do for these veterans is completely free of charge. So we rely on our community to help us keep that program going forward. And of course, we want Maggie to continue her training and we'll find a great veteran, a good match for her to continue. This, this particular training session, um, in and through the aisles of, of the department store there, it's basically to help simulate real world life for what these dogs will experience later. Um, we want to ensure that the dogs are not only good around public and, and um, whatever that, that may be, whether it's small children, adults, um, elderly, whatever those cases are, the dogs need to be accustomed to all of that. Um, the food smells in a grocery store, they need to leave everything alone, not smell the aisles, smell every object it goes through, so we work on that. Um, going in and out of, of uh, tight spaces, we want the dog to understand that the, the handler does not always need to give direction. Sometimes the scenario, the environment, can give the dog a direction um, where the dog may need to fall back and fall in behind the human that way, uh, behind their handler. Um, meeting another person coming with a shopping cart uh, can be one thing that some dogs may have never experienced before. We want those dogs to learn that that is an okay thing. So you were using the things in the middle of aisles and stuff like that, is that just to right. Like you said, to train the dog on where to be. At yes, yes. That that particular part of the drill, we use the object that is there for an obstacle for the dog to not be able to go around. So the chances are increased. The dog will slow its speed, fall in behind the handler, and then come back into the hill or the side position once they pass that object. Depending on what stage the the veteran and the training are in, in what stage they are in through the process. Um, early on, we do not do any outings. We do all the classroom training and that. Uh, as the teams get ready, we start doing the outing trainings. Uh, we may come out to you know simulate shopping, as an instance like this. Um, we may go to a movie theater and watch a you know a, a movie. Um, we may go to a bowling alley. We may and go bowl a few frames. We may go out to a restaurant and eat. We want to to go through as much of the training process that simulates real world for these veterans once them and the dog graduate. For more information and to donate, go to servicedogsofdistinction.org. Service Dogs of Distinction. Presented by Purina, your pet, our passion, and Nissan Titan.